Alan, your take on the numbers? Well, this is uh, almost a spot on report given what the forecasts were. What's a little bit surprising to me is that labor force participation rate declined. Mm -hmm. You put that together with slightly stronger wage growth than was, was expected. Part of it was because of the base, but not all of it probably. And this does suggest that the Fed's on the right course in terms of tightening. So uh, I think that's going to be the market reaction. I think that's the appropriate reaction to this, uh, to this set of numbers. So Subhadra, you like shorting the 10-year. It's a good day for yep. you. Like yes, that. yes right. it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, how quickly will the markets re-rate here? Well, it's uh, you know to me what really stands out in the data is uh, is the average hourly earnings as well as the the earnings number. We're at two point nine percent. It's it's the highest level we've been uh, in a while. So to me, it's the market, especially the bond market, is looking for some signs of inflation, some signs to reprice higher, and we're getting that in the data. And this is kind of what uh, you know Fed President John Williams was talking about yesterday, which the markets uh, took as a very dovish signal, i.e., that if there isn't wage pressures, and the Fed doesn't have to go that that fast. So the market rallied yesterday on the back of that. And today what you're seeing is confirmation that there are nascent signs of wage pressures. And if this continues, then the Fed is going to have to go um, possibly twi two more times this year. So, Alan, what about those wage numbers? You don't think that those are more important than the participation numbers? I don't. Uh, you know, one of the things that was slowing the Fed is the hope that there's more slack out there than the 3.9 percent unemployment rate indicates. The fact that labor force participation is down yeah. in spite of seeing wage growth, in spite of seeing the job growth that we've been seeing, uh, suggests we are pretty close to full employment. Doesn't mean the labor market's perfect by any stretch, but it means that we are around the classic definition of full employment.